one's gonna show everyone his undies. So the hand for the undies. Welcome to the Tom Green Show. My name's Tom, and this is Glenn Humplick. Yeah. We're gonna uh, play. A, we're gonna have a contest now. Contest is guess the sound. It's a new contest we're gonna have every week, starting from now until the end of time, and it's gonna be called Guess the Sound. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Tell me that story again about how uh, you look at your sister's breasts. <laughs> You know how you used to make little forts oh, out of the cushions with no, your sofa no, no. bed? And then you'd be inside and they'd brush up against you? Oh. You told me about that the other night. Oh, no, you last night you... Hello? You told me about that last night. No. Yes, you did. I told you I, I would never look at my no, sister's you told, breasts. You never. made... You no, made, no, no, you no. Made, no, 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 no. You no, made no. four... <laughs> Come on, it's, uh, this guy is so different when he's not on TV. When he's on TV, he's all sitting around at home, all, oh yeah, look at my sister's breasts. <laughs> it's true. Oh my God. And then here oh, on the, I would never do on that. On the show, he's all, oh, I'm a, oh. I'm a nice guy. Oh. I'm nice guy, Glenn. Oh, <laughs> shit. He's a weird, he's a weird guy. <laughs> I'm a weird guy. Are you staying here? Uh, no, no, I'm visiting too. Yeah, I've only been here for about an hour, but after looking at that for about five minutes, I started to realize that it really sucks. Man, this sucks, man. This sucks. Oh, man. Don't move. We've had enough of you. I was just, because the, they were mad downstairs because I thought the harbor sucked. It doesn't matter. I'm mad at you completely. You have no right to disturb the trip like you've done. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Hey, fellas, uh, up there with the movie? Be nice if you could consider the uh, rest of the people aboard. The Empire would retire here. Oh, that sucks. Would they eventually pass <laughs> Architecture sucks. Great little East Indian restaurant up on the left. East Indian Dark food Indian sucks. <laughs> I think East Indian food sucks. <laughs> Spicy food sucks. Spicy food sucks. <laughs> okay. Fellas, we're still having problems with the filming up there. Why don't we do this? Why don't you guys uh, film from the bottom deck? No. <laughs> 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 we keep it down, you know, because obviously the people want to hear a little of the history, etc., etc., etc. Right. You seem to be disturbing the others. The people upstairs liked us, and the people here that came down didn't like no, us. That's not true. What's that? That's not true. No, all the people nobody, upstairs. Nobody likes us. <laughs> 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 we were upstairs, and we came down here. <laughs> And the people downstairs don't like the Indian food restaurants, and the people upstairs like Indian food. So as soon as I said Indian food sucks, all the people that love Indian you, food came downstairs. You are belaboring the point, though. Yeah, because as soon as I said Indian food sucks, everybody came downstairs. Like, they all were a big Indian food fan. You were jumping around like a jackass. We came down. <laughs> like, everybody loves Indian food or something. We're not interested in you and your comments. Please disappear. Can we just figure out, though, if it's the Indian food thing driving us? Sir, go. Who upstairs likes Indian food? Sir, go. Sir, go. I don't see what the big deal about Indian food is. Get out. No, we'll get off, but I mean... We'll go back up. Get out. Get out. What's the big deal with Indian food? Get out. What do you guys... Do you own an Indian restaurant or something? I don't know. What's the big deal? Calm down. 
down. I don't see what the big deal is. Well, how are we supposed to get back? Please, can, please, can we get back on? We'll, we'll be quiet. Uh, please, tell them, tell them, tell them I won't say. I actually like Indian food. You guys, every, come on, guys. I actually like Indian food. Come on. Come on. It's, you guys. What radio station do you listen to? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, guess what? That's where we're calling from. <laughs> That's where we're calling from. <laughs> OK, so you want to win a cruise? OK. OK, you just got to you just got to guess what the sound is, OK? OK. You understand how the game works? Yeah. Is, is there any, any questions about the game? No. Nope. Basically, the way the game works is I make a sound, and you have to guess what it is, OK? OK. OK, you ready? Here's the sound. I've got some sugar on a board, and I'm blowing it. I've got some sugar on a board, and I'm blowing it. I've got some sugar on a board, and I'm blowing it. <laughs> Can you guess what the sound is? No. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. OK, I had some sugar on a board, and I was blowing it. Yeah, that's easy, eh? It's not a hard game. It's for a cruise. Uh, are you still there? Yep. <laughs> What kind of juice you selling? Raspberry punch and raspberry. Raspberry punch. Now, how much is that? Ten cents. Ten dollars? Ten cents. Ten dollars? Ten cents. Let me get my ten cents. <laughs> ten cents for all that juice? Is that right? Yep, sure. Ten cents for all that juice. <laughs> What are you guys talking about? Maybe you can't drink too much. Why can't I drink too much juice? But aren't you guys selling juice? Yeah. We're selling juice for other people, not getting juice. You mean I can't buy all the juice? No. It's a juice time. It's top of the juice. It's top of the juice. It's top of the juice. Uh. Top of the juice! 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 This is not a lie. When I was about your age, my father, he said to me, he said, when I was about your age, my father said, stop eating all those caramels. Because they'll rot your teeth right out. Well, your teeth are rotten right now. Have a good day, okay? Yeah. Sorry about You're the big lie. You are so stupid. Sorry. <laughs> Phil Giroux is a fun guy to hang out with. <laughs> he really is a good guy to hang out with. You know, because he always laughs. <laughs> Pretty well anything you do or say, he'll laugh at it. It doesn't really matter what. That's why we have him on the show. But the thing is, you know, I mean, Sometimes it's a little strange because you're out in public and he'll laugh at things. He particularly likes to laugh at the, at the uh, less fortunate. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Phil likes to laugh at people in wheelchairs and people. Yeah. In fact, just the other day we were out and Phil mockingly. Mock Look at the way he laughs. A sick, perverted laugh. What a twisted individual. You know? I mean, we were just out at the insane asylum looking for guests for the show. 
<laughs> and then Phil jumps oh. into the chair, all mocking. <laughs> look at that, look at that grin. Look at you laughing away. <laughs> the truth is out. <laughs> Sick. Oh. Oh. Is it all right now that they wear shorts? And they paid his fare from Winnipeg to Regina. And is it all right to wear shorts now? And I didn't get that is, right. Is it all right now that they wear shorts? And we lived uh, away on the other side of, uh, <laughs> of Canwood. <laughs> and you know what we sang? We what? sang the Maple Leaf Forever. Really? God save our queen and heaven bless the Maple Leaf Forever. We didn't save, uh, sing God save the king. And they paid his fare from Winnipeg to Regina with my mother after my father passed away. And my grandpa, my, you know what they said? You'll go the way you come, CP. That's a God's fact. Because when I was a young lad, it was always warmer in the southern part of Regina. Uh, and CNR had a, thermo, a thermostat on the CNR station as I walked to work. 40, 55, and 60 below zero. And then the radio come on when I got home. It was warmer here. Now it's changing. That's a fact. It's changing. And he moved out 50 miles north of Prince Albert. He went by rail from Minnesota to Prince Albert. And when he... I guess we're going to be on our way. That's the way it should be, too. Absolutely. Thank you. We like to have fun on the show. I like to have, I like to have fun with you on the show. People sometimes think that, you know, maybe I don't like you because we're... <laughs> but it's not the case, Glenn. I mean, there's a lot more to our relationship than just... Right. <laughs> music? in the morning right now. We're in St. Paul, home of the world's first UFO landing pad. Earlier today, we met with John Trofenko, the mayor of St. Paul. And it basically, of course, started as, uh, as a tourist attraction. And over the years, many, many people have stopped here and have taken pictures. So our town council in 1992 started to build this spaceship out here. We also met with this cattle mutilation expert and he brought us to see these cows that had been mutilated. But he showed us all these pictures of cows that had been killed by aliens. It was really gross and scary. This cow died in a canola field with no tracks of how she got there. This is the uh, cow that was suspected to have been mutilated by aliens here. You can see what's left of it. This happened a couple of months ago. Uh, aliens came down from the sky and uh, mutilated this animal. 
you can't see any farms or, or, or roads or anything. So it's a perfect place for a UFO to land, pick up a cow, do its experiments, cut, 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 uh, snip, snip, snip. Humans like eating ribs, perhaps aliens enjoy <laughs> some tasty ribs as well. Um, perhaps they like to take the leg and pretend that they have a, like a, 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 a three, look, it's a three-legged race. Look, 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 look a three-legged race. Look, look at this. Okay, they know UFOs exist and they know that cows get killed by UFOs and they've built a landing pad here in the town. It's all major. St. Paul, they've got restaurants, and Galaxy Pizza and UFO Pizza and all this crap. But they've never seen a UFO. They've got the world's first UFO landing pad. But they've never even seen a UFO. And I feel really sad. And John Trefenko, the mayor of the town, is trying so hard to make it work. It's 3 o'clock in the morning right now. And we're going to drop by John Trefenko, the mayor of St. Paul's house. And we're just going to, like, let him know that UFOs are real. You know, recently in the United States, there's been a big brouhaha about this Bill Clinton thing and the blue dress with the sperm on it. And we have with us here today Art from the Civic Hospital, and he is a sperm expert, I guess you could say. Sure. I also have here some of Phil Giroux's semen. <laughs> We're going to put the semen on the dress. Oh. And then Art is going to tell us whether or not it is really Phil Giroux's semen. Oh. 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 Get back here. Get back here. No. The semen's all gone. Get back here, you stinky man. No. Have a seat. Oh, I'll stay here. You didn't it's honestly okay. think that we were going to put oh. the semen on the dress, did you? Well, I figured it would last Sit a here, minute. Sit here. Sit here. The semen's gone. The semen's all gone. <sighs> just a little... <laughs> Sit down. The semen's all gone. It's just, just this stuff here. That's all that's left. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What was the logic there? I don't know. Okay. So. No, I knew the logic. So uh, now we'd like to test this to see if this is just the way, the similar to the way that uh, Clinton would have uh, been tested. So where did the semen go? Oops. Here it is. How would we find out if this was semen? How would we find out if this semen here belonged to that man right there? Well, what you'd have did to you smell do. it or? <laughs> is it? Is that semen? Smells like it. <laughs> is it? Yes. Is it? Here. It's all right. It's all right. Come on, no. Well, I just want to make sure you get a good whiff. <laughs> it is. Authentic, right? Authentic. Okay. But I can't tell that it's his or his. Oh, it's, it's his. Yeah. Is, is there no way we can tell whether or not it's his? Sure. His? Oh, how can we tell? We have to take some blood from it. Oh, oh really? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm. He couldn't just go whack into another condom? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Well, thanks so much for coming on the show, Art. Thank All right. It's great. I, I just, the reason I stopped you is because we're not from around here, right? And I had this question. I was out in the field, and I found this really uh, weird rock, and I wasn't sure if you knew what, what it was. It's, uh, do you know what kind of rock that is? <laughs> That's cow shit. What's that? That's cow shit. Well, I used to collect rocks when I was younger, but I saw this was cow shite, it's called. Shit. What's that? Man okay, call it manure. It's manure or cow shite? Shit. 
What's that? Cow shit. Cow shit. The slang. Oh, the slang. Yeah. And it's really called manure? Yeah. It's weird. Uh, I've been collecting rocks for a long time, but I've never heard of anybody using slang for uh, rock formations. Okay, well, it's a cool rock. It's one for my collection. Cow shite. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. Cow shit. C O W. Cow shit. Yeah. It really has a weird taste to it. Yeah, like, like. Oh, I would taste it. What's that? Uh, I've never heard of a, a cow shite. Well, thanks very much. <laughs> Must be sedimentary. <laughs> Thanks for teaching me about the prairies. Okay? I found a sedimentary rock. It's called cowshite. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I'm an idiot. Thanks. Blue jeans. There is a fire. Go away. 